Hi right, guys, in today's video, we are gonna talk about the different income levels in the Philippines, where the different classes are and how much money they make. And are you considered rich or poor when you move out here and live in the Philippines? And also, what are your best options when it comes to dating? Where are the girls gonna be found that are probably available for you to date? In what income levels and in what positions? We're gonna take a look at all of that coming up now. All right, guys, so I was doing some research online and looking in, into this, and I thought it was interesting because the majority of us foreigners, when we come out here, uh, we end up uh, dating or marrying girls that are usually, to be honest, on the lower uh, end of the scale when it comes to income. And uh, I'm gonna talk a lot more in detail about what that actually entails. But first, let's talk about what is considered poor and what is considered rich in the Philippines. And I'm going to throw that up on the screen for you. All right. So while we're looking at it on the screen here, let's start off with the poor. I will convert this over into dollars as of today's exchange rate, uh, which is May 3rd, 2024. Now, these are from 2021, so I'm sure it's gone up some. But let's start off with poor. If they are making less than 12,030 pesos per month, you are considered poor in the Philippines. Low income, but not so poor between 12,030 pesos to 24,060 pesos per month. Lower middle income between 24,060 pesos to 48,120 uh, per month. I actually know a few foreigners who live within that range. Middle, middle class between 48,120 to 84,210 per month. Upper middle class between 84,210 pesos to 144,360 per month. Now, I happen to think that most foreigners fall within the middle middle class or upper middle income levels here in the Philippines and that's what they live on. So most foreigners when they come out here they are are they considered rich? No, they would be considered middle class. All right, so most foreigners when they come out here they think, "Oh, I'm going to be considered rich." Well, maybe, but most of you probably are going to be considered middle class technically. So let's continue on and see what is considered rich. Now, next we have the upper income but not rich between 144,360 pesos to 240,600 pesos. Now, again, I will put this in dollars as well. And to be considered rich, you need to have at least 240,600 pesos per month. That is what you need to be considered rich if you come out here in the Philippines. So the majority of expats, again, aren't really considered rich here, but they are considered middle class. So just a distinction level for you guys to know here. Another couple statistics I wanted to show you. Uh, the average salary in the Philippines, and this is as of 2024, would be 350 US dollars. Again, I'll put the conversion for the pesos. So the average salary in the Philippines, across the Philippines, 350 US dollars. Now, uh, another, some other interesting statistics here, and this again is 2024, nearly 100% of everyone in the Philippines, nearly, uh, earns less than 1,600 US dollars per month. 75% of employees earn $480 or less. 50% of employees earn $340 or less, and 25% of employees earn less than $260 US dollars per month. We're gonna continue on with some statistics here. Now, the high paying jobs, what are considered the highest paying jobs in the Philippines? Well, number one, and this would be really like it would be any, in any other country, a surgeon is number one, doctor, number two, chief executive officer, CEO, registered nurse, anesthesiologist, 
dentist, airline pilot, intellectual property lawyer, marketing manager, marketing director, sales manager, sales director, and petroleum engineer. So let's take a little fur a further look at that. A, a surgeon would make around 1600 US dollars per month. And then it goes all the way down to a lawyer, which would be about $860 per month. Now, again, people are going to comment and say, you know what, I know an attorney here in Dumaguete or in Cebu who uh, is just constantly has clients. And again, this is the average. This is not every single lawyer out there where this is looking at the average. Now let's take a look at the lowest paying jobs and this is where it's going to relate to dating. Okay, So cashier workers, child care workers, stock clerk, elder care worker, receptionist, bartender, food and beverage server, janitor, waiter, tour guide, customer service representative, and hotel concierge. Uh, these are the ones that make the least amount of money. And honestly, when I meet most foreigners, and they introduce their girlfriend or their wife, well, most of them, or they've met them in a on the boots ground type of a thing, they've met their girlfriend or wife in positions like this. Mall workers working as a cashier at the grocery store, the cashier at a marketplace uh, selling fruit and vegetables, a hotel front desk clerk, things like that. So lowest paying jobs, anywhere from 170 US dollars per month, that's a cashier, all the way down uh, to about a truck driver, which is about 320 US dollars. I wanted to go over those statistics with you and I wanted to talk a little bit more how this comes into play when it comes to dating. Because again, the majority of us who end up uh, dating, marrying a Filipina, you are not gonna be marrying Filipinas really probably even in the middle class up to the considered rich. They just aren't really interested in these large age gap relationships. Now, is it, if it's a young professional uh, guy from the US or Australia or wherever, and he starts uh, maybe speaking to an attorney or something like that, and they both are professionals and within the same age range, then sure, why not? But maybe a guy who's 65 and a girl who's 28 years old who's an attorney probably uh, she is not really interested like maybe a cashier worker and so money absolutely comes into play you can be as disillusioned as you want money certainly comes into play when you have these large age gap relationships it's just normal uh, again and, and myself included most of the girls that i've dated or had a relationship with were girls that were down at the lower income level cashiers or worked uh, at, you know uh, maybe didn't even have a job I've dated you know a teacher before I've dated um, different positions like that where they just really didn't make a lot of money and it's pretty normal and this is probably what you're gonna uh, be targeting so again if you're coming out here and you want you know an age gap relationship well guess what the cashier the stock clerk the receptionist the food the waitress uh, the customer service representative uh, the secretary the child care worker elder care worker bartender janitor tour guide hotel front desk concierge travel agent those are the type of girls that you're probably going to be dating or having a serious relationship with does that mean that you can't date a professional girl who's like a nurse or something like that? No, it doesn't mean that. I'm just talking about statistically, the high percentage of us are gonna date girls in this type of work or lower income levels. Now, my wife, I'm not even gonna get into how much she was making during the pandemic, but she was kind of an entrepreneur. She went out and started her own business and she ended up making pretty decent money uh, was she considered rich? No. Was she considered poor? No. But again, there's also uh, instances where maybe you get serious with a girl and maybe you send her through school so she can get a better job. Or maybe you don't, maybe you prefer her just to be a at home wife. Uh, a lot of times, guys will send their wives or something off to college and they become nurses. But again, uh, I'm interested to uh, see, I'm going to put uh, this up in the community tab. Uh, let me know where you fall. Are you considered middle class? 
Are you considered rich? Are you considered poor when you live or move out in the, to the Philippines? Uh, most of us, again, I think don't really fall in the rich category. Uh, you know, that's making, oh, that's making about $5,000 or more per month take home. So there certainly are a good chunk of people, foreigners that come out here doing that. So if I had to guess correctly, I would base it on people I've spoke to. And uh, I would say that most foreigners that come out here live on around 1,200 US dollars all the way up to around 2,500. I would say that is the average. That is just based on my experience. Again, you can head over to my community tab on my YouTube page and uh, join the survey. And uh, let's see what the majority of you make without actually disclosing your exact number and it's anonymous as well. So let me know uh, your opinions on the uh, topic at hand. And as usual, guys, if you need a lot more information, a free PDF for moving out to the Philippines and uh, where to stay as far as a hotel list around the Philippines, check out my webpage, geonthephilippines.com for all that information and a lot more. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see everyone next time. Ciao.